put out by the Keystone Company, and um, uh, so they're they're coated to prevent any oxidation, and basically their job is to just keep things together. So I'll use this piece. I'll put two of them together. It's the same technique, same technology that I've used in the in the past on other videos, and put that all together. Now I had a case come back from another lab um, recently, and when he went to pull the impression, it it tore the impression material, and he was frustrated. And I said, "Well, did you take uh, an unscrew uh, before you pulled the impression?" He says, "Yes, I did." I said, "Well, then did you also take the screws all the way out? Because sometimes these screws, uh, the threads." will pop out and in the mouth they re-engage again or on a model they'll re-engage and when you go to pull the impression they'll pull and, and get caught so what I do routinely is in the mouth on the impression I'll take them out completely so they'll look like this and this part will be in my hand right and leaving that impression coping where it is and then you pull it and now you have less chance of getting caught by this this screw and that can easily you know be a thread or two and that's all it takes especially when you're trying to get past an undercut say on this tooth or this tooth here and there's a, a withdrawal path here so you're doing combination cases or you got real long preps or real long teeth from crown and bridge that you did in the past and you end up with a problem of because of path of insertion so get the screws out of there you know it just takes time to do it in the mouth but patients uh, you know they're usually they're pretty cooperative unless you've got a real tough gagger but if you did have a tough gagger then you're kind of going to be stuck doing a lot more procedures with a closed tray open tray is the way um, you know unless you're scanning directly in the mouth I feel that uh, the open tray for me it's it's been the hallmark of my success uh, where my case is absolutely no adjustments uh, hardly with contacts or anything uh, to that nature yeah, we have to adjust the occlusion at times, but contacts and the tissue adaptation and and uh, and and preventing any uh, seating issues uh, that that um, that are questionable at times. Uh, go with an open tray, and your troubles will be over. All right, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo, and I wanted just a quick shout out to Dr. Fred Nork, and thank you for doing a great job. And you can see your tissue it looks impeccable. We'll get back to you more on, on filming this case and finishing the educational part of it uh, for both students, other dentists, as well as patients uh, that want to come into the practice. All right. Take care for now. And uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Enjoy your day. Looks like a fall day in the morning in sunny Florida. And by afternoon, it'll be about 82 degrees. So take care.